Hey guys, Brad Slifty here, and today I'm going to show you guys Bloxiopolis in the late fall season, aka the 10.4 update. First, over here we have the change log, so version 10.4. Let me turn this off. Bloxiopolis is now in late fall season, Halloween event ended. You still have a trick or treat bag full of candy to eat, which is right here, because. Because, uh, people trick-or-treated on Halloween and, you know, they got candy afterwards, so people can spend the rest of November to eat the candy. You, um, added a credit board to the spawn box, which is right here. There's now credits for buildings. Added a settings menu. Wait, no. All houses are officially finished and ready to finish being furnished. So yeah, it's official. All the houses down here are finished and ready to be furnished. Added a settings menu, which is right here. Um, I'm actually gonna get rid of this because, like, the, uh, toggle time doesn't really work for me because the time here is automatic due to this plugin. Dark chat bubbles don't work. Spawn Tornado was a concept because the tornado, Bloxiapolis Tornado Edition has closed permanently because I just couldn't handle updating two Bloxiapolis maps at once because I, I, I know I would lose, um, like, forget what to add and change. Hide players, never had a chance to test that. Player tags would be useful for like playing hide and seek. Um. The only useful thing here is people who are on like low-end devices can disable textures and materials. See? To help improve performance if you have like a low-end device. But I might get rid of this and just make this a toggle. And do something about the tornado so I can add it to Bloxiopolis. Over here is the credits. Lightning Apparel is owned by Heaven. Desserts is owned by Kitty Cooney. Muggler's Cafe is owned by Madame Muggler. Sam's Food Shop is owned by the Sandman. Same as the Sam's Clothes. Handle says Count Discoveries is by is owned by Handle, but his default username is Defaulty Luck. The school building is unknown. I don't know who made that. Cause I took that from uh, the uh, toolbox catalog and I just renovated it earlier this year. Um, but I remodeled it. So he's remodeled by me. Red Joe Autos is owned by my friend Miles, but his Roblox name is Dear Lorian. My just butchered his name. Thingamajid store is owned by Turtle Cheese. Bloxmart Cashiers are OJ Baby and Robo Stud. Ironwall Fitness is owned by me. Spirit Halloween is unknown. That pulled up in the toolbox like six years ago. Um, the Christmas store is owned by me. Lion Den is owned by me and Snusk. BO2 Studios is unknown. But I expanded and remodeled it back in 2022. All houses were built from scratch by me, and most furnitures belonged to their owners because I got them all from Toolbox. So the first thing you know is that there's a few trucks here now that I'm trying to test out because I know those trucks work fine. But I did modify them a bit, like change the color. But um. The biggest modification I've done so far is mute the, mute the sounds because they were very, very loud. But I don't need to use this truck I like to use my magic carpet to fly around quickly because it's quick. So here we have lightning apparel. It's the same but no more Halloween decorations. This bank, this building is still vacant. Here's Death Search without decorations because Windows introduced it was already decorated for Halloween. The grand opening banner is gone. But yeah, here it is all normal. Here's the kitchen. Oh god. This cup is evil. Here's a restroom. It's a cute little restaurant. Here's Spirit Halloween. Since Halloween is over, it's November. It's closing. I don't know if this is how Spirit Halloween's close. I doubt they do that. The closing sales. I think they just disappear. Wait. Actually, I'll have to do some research. So 
So yeah. Um, here we have the Bloxia Plus Hall of Fame. Okay, none of the avatars are updated yet. And Okay, um here we have the Bloxia Plus Christmas store. It's now open since Christmas season is here. So yeah, um this is the first time I've shown you guys this, but um it's just full of Christmas trees and uh yeah, then over here is a per as a couple cashiers dressed as Santa and an elf, and I built this or made this back in 2020. I just took a copy of the empty version of Spare Halloween, and I just made this. But I recently found out that Spirit Christmas is now a thing. Maybe it's been a thing, but I just discovered that they're real. So why is it saying it's midnight? Weird. I need to fix that. But yeah. Loxiablo's Christmas store. Let's go down here. Here we have a gas station. Here we have a school. Nothing's changed, so I don't have to show it. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we have Bloxy Mart. We only have two cashiers left because Kitty Cooney now has their own building and someone was fired because they're no longer my friend. Also, if you press V, the settings pop up, but like I said, the next update, it'll be gone because there's only one, one useful setting and then I'm not very good at scripting, so I can't really add more stuff to it. Here we have the restrooms. Both are the same except the feet or the women's restroom has an extra stall and no urinals. Here's the stock room. And here we have the break room. Let's go, oops, let's go over to the plaza. So here we have handles, discount discoveries, the flea market. The Sam's clothes. It's a uh, clothes store. It's like heaven or heaven's uh, lightning apparel, but cheaper. See, I always thought saw heaven or I always say heaven store. I always saw Lightning Apparel as like a more bougie, rich clothing store. This is like bas basic clothes that are like at a good price. And then the clothes at Bloxy Mart are just generic, uh, cheap $5 clothes. Here we have Iron Wolf Fitness Aquatic Center, which is the pool owned by Iron Wolf Fitness. Oh my gosh, I'm blinded intermittently. There's the boys' locker room and the girls' locker room. Oh, I forgot to mention, I re-added shift sprint. Here we have Sam's Food Stop. Here's a restroom. Dining area, order counter, kitchen. Howdy, howdy. Welcome to Sam's Food Stop. Your restaurant sucks. Get out. Now. <laughs> and then... Here's the house portion, or the second floor, which is just the house. Because this is Sam's house. And honestly, it's already due for a renovation despite me building it earlier this year. Because this is what my earlier building styles looked like. Nowadays, they're all detailed houses. To be fair, in my defense, this is the first, like, ever, like, house house I've, like, anything related to a house I've built. Because back then, this interior this area didn't exist. So I did a pretty good job for what it was. Here we have Iron Wolf Fitness. Oh, I forgot to mention, on the news, or the TV news, it says, Blocks Atlas Christmas Store is now open for the season. Let me, okay, there we go. 
block or er, as the holiday season quickly approaches, Block Seattle's Christmas store has finally reopened. So it's only the beginning of November. Everything is on sale. Get some good deals on Christmas decor to prepare for the holidays. This deal won't last forever. True. Also, there's a weather alert. Freeze warning. Which means it's about to snow. And over here we have Spirit Halloween closes as Halloween comes to an end. Another Halloween in Bloxiapolis has come and gone. Spirit Halloween will be closing the store until next fall. Get some good deals on Halloween decorations you can use next year. This deal won't last forever. Spirit Halloween is expected to close by the end of November, which is very soon. Oops, I'm over here. Over here at Iron Fitness, we have the sauna and the yoga class classroom. Where did the ceiling fan go? There was a ceiling fan in there that had like full face brackets. I'm sure you've seen it on the last video. If anyone, people have first seen this or seen this video for the first, this channel for the first time, if you go to my Halloween video, you'll see it. Here we have Muggler's Cafe. Pumpkin spice is still on the menu, but not for long because it's almost Christmas. Here we have Retro Autos. It's a dealership on full of classic cars. Here we have Lion Den. The same as the Bloxburg, but built by me from scratch, so yeah. It's it's different, definitely. But I try my best. Also, I can't have a drive through in this location, so right now it's just used as a storage room. Since this location also doesn't have a basement. I think here soon I should do renovations to both. Um, like this bathroom is definitely not right. It's supposed to have uh, three stalls instead of just a toilet and a urinal. I mean, most restaurants have this, but I don't know. I don't know if I was already up here, but yeah, like I said. Over here we have Thingamajig store. Still exactly the same. But, but I took the grand opening banner off. But I just never realized there's a uh, nest here. Dear Bloxy Mart, please stop sneaking your coupons and our products. You can't tell me what to do. Here we have B02 Studios. I still need to update that logo. Oh wow! <laughs> I just realized this TV still shows the wrong news. I didn't update this one because I forgot it even existed. But it's still saying the Halloween one, saying local blocks where it's having a Halloween sale. I'll try my best to update that for the next update, for the Christmas update, because I'm about to make another news thing for Christmas. Okay, this one's still updated for Christmas at least. What's next? I just realized I didn't go through Lightning Apparel. Or I forgot to go through it. Here, so yeah, here's Lightning Apparel. Like I said, it's supposed to be the, the rich, bougie clothes store. The expensive clothes store. So yeah. And then, let's go ahead and go through the school. Because I forgot about that, that too. Or I, got, I got lazy, but I realized I should. Cafeteria. Here's a classroom. Here's a men's restroom. And the women's restroom. Principal's office. Here's another classroom. 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 Here's the, oops, gymnasium. Maybe I should uh, uh, flip this door around so you push it to go inside, not pull. Here's a gym's office. Yeah, gymnasium still has a bare floor. 
Here's the computer lab. Here's the art room. Classroom. Here's the library. Maybe it's time to update this library and give it. No, there's a, never mind. There's a computer lab already. And the teacher's lounge. And a playground. We also I found out what to put here. I have decided to make a park that will change and have like festivals and holiday stuff. And here's the beach. Everything's just so dark and quiet now. That's uh. Now that's late fall, it's almost winter. I mean, look how cold it's getting. It's, only, it's in the 40s right now. And all the trees no longer have leaves. And I just noticed, um, or I forgot to mention, something is being built here. Because I noticed the path has been redone. It's a lot more clean. And there's a uh, second area here. Right here. So something new is being built. And we'll see on the next update video. And I've heard that this pool area is going to be renovated by next summer. So I'm excited to see what's going to be here. It's currently covered. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the houses, but I'm going to wait till morning because it's only 11. Or it's 11, so it's late night. Actually, it wouldn't really hurt to go through all the houses now and then show them all later in the morning. So we'll start here. Nothing has updated, so I don't really have to go through the house at all. I can still walk around the backyard and stuff, though. It's so weird. I'm so used to seeing all these shadows and stuff. But now all the trees are bare, so just like a lot of light. And also, wow, these shadows are really good, though. Oh, I also got the clocks inside the house working so you can hear it ticking. Here's the backyard here. Uh, in this house, there's cars now, which back then there was two minivans here. Same year, this one was red, this one was silver. Also, this house is finally getting an update. Um, there's gonna be furniture, and this house, or the living room furniture, is gonna be uh, the right ones, because I realized that it was rearranged at some point. Here's the backyard. Wait, let's go back in real quick. So this is the final look of the downstairs being empty because there's finally stuff being added. I couldn't tell if I did any updates here. Okay, no, I didn't. I mean, the TVs were updated. And there's a cat tower here now. I think that was already added in the October update. But just in case I missed it, this room has furniture now. And so does this room. No, that wasn't updated yet. Uh, this house finally got attention. Um, not this update, but the next update. I almost said I kind of thought that I did updates last, um, this update, but the next update, this house will finally have furniture. Oh no, I did do an update here. I put a, my computer here. 
So yeah. Also, this is what the fan from Iron Wolf is supposed to have. Except the wolf or the wolf face brackets are blue and white. This house is still vacant. I've been contacting all a lot of my groups, seeing if they want this this house and then that other one. Uh, I really hope they get it or anyone gets it. Cause, uh, if they don't, I have other ideas for it, but they're not going to be as fun as having houses for other people. Because I'm not good at customizing houses for other people. Like, this house is kind of generic, but I'm trying my best. I don't even know what to paint the walls. Yeah, there's furniture being added here, so... Here's the other vacant house. It's literally just the uh, second house I toured, but the layout's been flipped and it's modernized. Tan walls, carpet, wood floors. Very generic for like rental houses. Here's Snusk's house. I can't remember it was updated. Also, I forgot to mention the uh, vines here are red, so it's fall. They turn red. Oh yeah, this house has been updated pretty significantly. The pond's not frozen yet, but it's probably very cold, so it's in the 30s right now. So yeah, I can now do an actual tour of the house. So here's the living area. Kitchen. Laundry room. Bathroom. I changed out the window and put a door here. I just realized there's missing trim here. I think I already fixed that in the next update. But yeah, so you can access the garage through here. Here's my room in this house, but I might make it more generic and make it like somebody else's room since I already have multiple rooms in multiple houses. Here's Snusk's room. Oh yeah, this is also owned by Snusk, but um... This ha this is re a recreation of her older Bloxburg house. And here's Turkey's room. Uh, that was already fixed on the next update, but that won't release until this Friday. The 29th of November. It's currently the 24th. As of the time I'm recording this at like 3 a.m. But here's a little entertainment area. The speakers are broken. And a TV on the Roku menu. Uh, walk-in closet. I'm really happy with this uh, rail. Spoiler alert, the Bloxburg house finally has this railing I've been trying to add forever. Oh, and one more thing. Here's the backyard. I wish I could control time so I could freeze it. So I could like, leave it morning. Yeah, all the trees are bare. The game always looks so sad when the trees are all dead and it's still fall. It'll look a little bit better in the winter. Here we have Heaven's House. Oh, and I also finally fixed this. You can actually go up the stairs now. And it's morning. And I'm almost done touring the houses. I just got a few left to go through. Sorry, just, I'm just trying to get a good look at all the trees being dead. I know in the future, like next summer, I'll be like looking forward to like how it'll look. Or if I, because I've already I'm already seeing pictures of the game back when it was summer, and I'm like oh my gosh, all, it was, there were so many trees, and was, everything was all like crowded and looking. Now it's all empty. Why is the chat appearing? Ew, they changed the icon. 
this house is finally getting attention. There's more furniture. See, an office area. I I I uh, reused my second setup, but I just put Windows 10 desktops on the computer. Same with this little laptop here. Bathroom. Still no furniture here yet, though. You can see so far away now without the trees blocking the view. This house is still interior only, but in the next update, um, throughout December, I will finally finish this house. So, check er, um, stay tuned on the next update because this house will finally have its interior unlocked. It'll still be empty, but you'll get to see what it looks like on the inside. This house also has a working clock now. It's supposed to show local time, but for some reason, it's showing your time, like the time in the UK. Like, it's currently 3 a.m. for me, and it's saying it's 8 a.m. So, I'll have to see what's up with that. I wonder if, it's just, if I could just change my region or something. No. I don't think I did any updates here yet, but... Yeah. And here's the last house. I think I did a few updates here. Yeah, I did. All I added here so far is just a bed and a dresser. I finally fixed this. No more floating keyboard, no more falling desktop wallpaper. <laughs> I need to I need to finish the garage though, it's still empty. The garage at this house had a whole workstation, storage areas, like workbench. And also had a lot of stuff here. Like we had a pool table in here. I trust the bed is unanchored, you can just move it around. But this room finally has a bed and a TV. This room still needs a TV. Yeah, here's a view of the backyard in the winter. I couldn't add the cornfield here because obviously no room. Instead of a cornfield on block, or in real life, there's just a, or blocks work as well. There's just a, a Bloxy Mart parking lot. But honestly, if this is all real, it would be so convenient to live here. Or here. Or here. Maybe here as well. You can literally just walk to the store, the, the, get your groceries, and just walk them back. That would be nice. Yeah, that's all the houses, so let's go ahead and get a view of their backyards in the morning now that you can actually see what's going on. Just a final look of the back or er, everything before it snows. While everything is dead and bare. It's gonna look out the window of the upstairs of this house. It's too high up.
I like how it blocks the apples. I can do bare trees. But in Bloxburg, in the winter, their trees just turn white. They have bare trees, but they don't match their actual rough trees, though. They're just a completely different tree. I'm really hoping that people take this house and actually customize it. Like, imagine this house with like a giant like deck, like this house right here, or this house with a, ne a deck like this one. I should hurry because it's already afternoon, almost evening. Like I said, like I said, you can see what's actually happening now. So many dead trees it looks creepy. I wonder if people end up assuming this is a horror game just because all the trees are dead. Sorry if I'm like taking up time, I'm just trying to get a view of everything. Also there's cars here as well. This house is pretty important to show in the morning. Because this house is a very busy backyard. And that should be it. So yeah, this... Actually, no, instead of that carpet, I'm just going to use the camera. So this is Bloxiopolis. Late fall. Or early winter, 2024. It's basically just winter, but there's no snow. It's a little too warm for snow, so it's still gonna rain a bit. Some precipitation. But I have seen snowfall in this version of Loxiopolis, though. Oh, there's a dying pine tree right here. Here's a better look at the gas station. I just realized I forgot to go in it. Still do it for a renovation. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.